In this episode of Flea Market Rescue, I'm going to teach you how to do five trash to treasure projects that I think you're going to love. We'll start with these cheap looking fall harvest plaques and we'll turn them into a beautiful farmhouse eat sign. Then we'll take this vintage tray that has seen better days and we'll turn it into a stinking cute farmhouse display tray. Meals and memories are made here and I'll show you how I turned this into this from that. Let's move this on into the 2020s. And lastly, I'll show you that it doesn't take much to turn your kitchenware into charming decor. So come join me as we do these five trash to treasure projects. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I hope that you'll consider doing that. I'd really appreciate it. Now onto this week's projects. Well, you look at this. So I got that for $1.99. It says autumn, it says harvest and gather. And these are just like, I don't know, particle board. You can see there's some staining on the back, but I have some really cool plans for this. So let's go ahead and get started. And it's gonna be really cool. I bought these at Michael's and we're gonna put those on the plaques. So we're gonna just kind of do something like this. I'm gonna glue those on. These are actually not spaced far enough. Like if I try to put one in the middle, it just will not fit. And also I think this one is a little too small. So I'm gonna have to cut a larger circle out. I'm just gonna cut some out of pallet wood here. I have some pallet wood. I'll cut a circle out of there and We'll do that and we're just going to paint these all black after i glue on these little things i got at michael's okay i cut the one piece here and i'm just gonna Cut this jute it's just so much easier than pulling out the staples because staples were made by a machine so they're really in there it's gonna be hard to pull out it'll just be easier if we did this we're just gonna cut all these okay so i cut the jute off and now we're going to attach these to the little plaques I'm gonna do that by using Starbond. I'm just gonna put a little bead of glue all the way around, and then I'm gonna spray the back of this with the accelerator, and once we put the two together, it'll instantly bond, and then we're gonna paint them. And I'm just gonna use some of this here. Like I said, we're just gonna put a bead all the way around. Okay, I sprayed the accelerator on the back here, and now we're just gonna place that down. And press down. Perfect. Now I'm gonna take this outside and I'm gonna spray this one and we'll place that on there. Okay, I sprayed that one outside and now I'm just gonna place that down on that. And I'm gonna finish that last one that we made. Nice. Now if you see any extra glue, then all you have to do is just wipe it up because it's still wet. Until that accelerator hits it, it's not gonna do anything. it off okay so these look super cute like this we're gonna paint them okay so these are all glued down they look really good and we're gonna paint these all black all I'm using right now is just a little of that folk art pure black 
paint. It's acrylic paint. You can pick it up for like, I don't know, a dollar or something, dollar fifty. So I'm just gonna paint these real quick. Okay, so these are all finished and dry. They look awesome. And you're never gonna guess what I got at Walmart. Look at, look what I found. These letters are only like a dollar and they're already painted and they're distressed. Guess what we're gonna do? You got it. We're gonna put those all like that. We're gonna do an E, an A, and a T. And we're gonna put our little jute in between and we're gonna hang it with some jute. Okay, so we are ready to glue these on. I got them all unwrapped. Again, we're gonna do the E, the A, and the T. So I'm gonna take my hot glue gun and I'm just gonna start gluing these on. Okay, so I thought my camera was on and I was hot gluing these on and just pressing them down. You did miss that because the camera was not on. I apologize, but I'm sure you all know how to use a hot glue gun. Anyway, I hot glued these down, the A, the E, the T, and they all look awesome. And we're just gonna put that jute on there and call it a day. So I think I'm gonna flip these all over and we're gonna measure out some jute. So I think that's gonna be good there. And we're just gonna tie this in a knot. That will be our hanging part. And we'll just do this all the way down on both sides like it was. That looks pretty good in the back. We're just gonna add a few of these staples here. I'm using this Craftsman's staple gun. And there you have it. Here it is, all finished. I think it came out amazing. It was very easy to put together and this is something you could easily do yourself. Now this next project I am in love with. I bought this at the thrift store for $4.99. And I think it is super cute with the, the sunshine yellow color. And look at the contact paper, it is adorable. But there are a couple things wrong with it. So I think that we're definitely gonna have to redo it. As you can see, it's coming up like it's ripped and coming up here. This is definitely vintage contact paper. You can just tell. And it's coming up in this corner. It just looks, you know, like it's been beat up. So I do have some cute plans for it. We're going to do something totally different with it. But again, I think it's pretty darn cute. Okay, we're going to start by removing this old contact paper. It's just seen better days. I love it. But way too dirty to keep. And again, I'm not sure anybody would want it like that. Okay. So I'm just gonna take that off and then we're gonna paint this. So I'm just gonna clean it up with a Clorox wipe now that we have the contact paper off and then we're gonna paint it a nice crisp white because white sells. So, again, I love the little sunshine color, but I don't know how good of a seller it's gonna be. I'm just wiping this up. It's very dirty. You can tell it was like around a long time. It probably was right out of someone's kitchen. So I'm just spraying this with flat white enamel paint by Rust-Oleum. And we're gonna let that dry. So I went to Sweet and Sassy Treasures today 
and I came across this print that I love. Look at this sheep. It's like a mama sheep, and she has her little, you know, beehive there. Super, super cute. And we're gonna use this today, so let's do that. In order to use these, we're gonna maj podge them on. But what you wanna do first is you wanna spray some clear coat on the bath. I'm gonna cut this image out, and then we're gonna spray a little of that clear coat on there, and this is going to make sure that we don't have any bubbles when we put this image down. Okay, so we have our image all cut out now, and now we need to spray. So I'm just gonna put this image like this, and we're gonna use some of this clear coat that I got at Walmart, and we're gonna spray it all over the back. Okay, so that looks like it's dry. I'm gonna take that in and we'll work our magic. Okay, so our tray is completely dry now and we're gonna take our image and we're gonna Mod Podge it on there. It's gonna look so cute. I love this sheep, totally in love with it. So I'm just gonna get a brush and we're gonna put that on there. So I'm just gonna dip my brush in the Mod Podge and we're gonna put that all over the back of our image here. Okay, so I have that Mod Podge all over the back here and we are gonna place our image where we want it. I want it in the left-hand corner because I just think that will make it look so cute there. I'm gonna push it all the way to the corner. And I'm gonna smooth that out. Make sure I have that all the way down to the bottom. really make sure that I have it in the corners really good. Anything I think that's going to lift up, I'm going to down. Okay, I think that all looks pretty darn good. Just want to take your hand and really smooth that out. Make sure there's no air bubbles trapped underneath there. And then once that looks good, which this does to me, I'm going to put some more Maj Paj on there. just to seal it. So this is drying right now, and I think I'm just gonna add a little Maj Podge on the other side just to seal in the paint too.
So we had all this blank space. So I thought, you know what, a decal would be perfect. I went in Silhouette Studio and designed this. And I went and cut it out on the Silhouette. So this is the decal that I made. And we're just gonna take off the excess vinyl off of here, off of our design. Just want to slowly do that. And now we're going to take out any extra vinyl. Okay, she is all dry and she is just super cute. I love her. And I made our decal that's gonna finish off this design. So I have transfer tape on it. I'm gonna peel the transfer tape off and hopefully the design's gonna come up with it. If not, you just take your credit card and you just wanna go over it. Try to peel that off. So you're gonna wanna center your design. To me, I think this looks really cool right here. Oh, of course there has to be a dog here sticking to our transfer tape. Let's try that again. So about right there, looks good. Oh yeah, that is perfect there. So I'm just gonna take my credit card again and I'm gonna go over this design to make sure that it's down onto our tray. And then we'll peel the transfer tape off and it's gonna be beautiful. Just carefully peel that back. I actually have two pieces here. Gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna go over it one more time with my credit card just to make sure it is completely down. And how stinking cute is that? Earlier that day, I was at the thrift store and I came across this. So look at this, very interesting. It has a little hole right here so we can put some jute through it. And it's just like a wooden kind of pan, which is perfect for like a kitchen. Um, I don't think anyone would put it in their kitchen as is, but we're gonna do a couple things to it and we're gonna make it super cute. So let's do that now. 
Okay, as you know, I got this little pan for $2.99 at the thrift store, and we're going to paint this black. I'm going to be using black velvet chalk paint for this, and it's by um, Do It Yourself Paint. And we're just gonna let that dry. And while that was drying, I designed another decal that could go on this pan. I'll tell you, the silhouette has been a complete game changer and I think that if you're interested in doing home decor, you, you wanna get one of these because you're gonna be able to sell so much more stuff with it. So we have our cool pan that we painted with the chalk paint and I have my decal already. I'm just gonna go over it with the credit card to make sure that the transfer tape is on there or the letters are adhering well to the transfer tape. Try to pull that off there. Okay, they're coming up, which is a good thing. We're gonna center And that's what it looks like. I think it came out really cute. All we need to do now is just put a little jute around here, around the handle, and it'll be all set. Okay, so we have our decal on there, and now we just need to take a little piece of jute and put it through the handle. So I have my jute here, and I'm just gonna wire that through. We're gonna just cut that and tie a little knot in there. And that's really all there is to that. How cute is that? And if you don't have a silhouette, don't worry. I do sell these in the Etsy store and if you just wanna do one or two projects, they're there available for you to purchase. Okay, so I got this cow at the thrift store and he is super cute. Uh, let's see, he was $2.99. And I actually had to come back and get him because there wasn't a price on it, so the lady wouldn't sell it to me. Okay, first things first, we're gonna get this price tag off of there. And then I need to get this off. I'm gonna cut this tail off too. And then we're gonna paint the whole thing black. We're gonna use that folk art black here. Just paint that up. And we're just gonna let that dry. Okay, so I have a question for you. Do you like the cow pointing that way? Or do you like the cow pointing that way? If you like the cow pointed that way to the left, that they say that you tend to spend a lot of your time thinking back into the past. However, if you turn the cow to the right, then you are more looking towards the future. So, which one are you? Okay, our cow is dry and we are gonna sand it here. So you're gonna just wanna sand it, especially around all the edges. Do you see how nice that looks? It just brings out the outline of the cow. I'm going to also lightly sand it here too, just to 
give it a distress look. Now we totally could leave it like this. It looks cool like that, but I like to add just a little more character to it. So you guessed it, we're gonna add a decal to it. So I'm just gonna run my credit card over this just to make sure that everything's down. And then we're gonna peel the letters off. And if they stick, all you have to do is just go over them. I mean, if they're not sticking to the transfer tape, just go over them one more time with your credit card and that should lift them up. And voila. Okay, so they're on our transfer tape and I'm gonna put the cow down and We'll just put that right on him to kind of center that. I think that's gonna look really good there. We'll take our credit card again and go over him. And then we'll pull our transfer tape up. Uh oh, hang on. I'm gonna go over that one more time with my credit card just to make sure that it's all down. Look at that, super cute. Now how cute is that? I think we did good at bringing him into the 2020s. He is now updated and I love him. Okay, so not everything needs to be remade over and this is a perfect example. I picked this um, like croc up for $2.99. It's perfect the way it is. It's black. It could totally go with our farmhouse theme. But you know, you just want to add a little more character and you know how I like to add decals because again, it just adds a little more to whatever home decor you're using. So with this, I just want to make a little utensils decal that we can put on there. Um, I think it's just going to be simple, easy, and just totally turn this into something that is going to look a little more farmhouse. I'm just going to remove these and then I'm gonna wash this up and then we'll put our decal on. Okay, I'm just gonna wipe this up a little because it's wet and we want for this to stick and it's not gonna stick if it's wet. So I have the utensils. I have the decal right here. I'm gonna place that on there evenly. I think that looks really good. We're just gonna take our credit card now and go over that. So we have our utensils on there. I got these for my mom. I'm, she was gonna sell them and I'm like, no, I love them. So these are just little hand towels and they're super cute. So I've been picking up old type spoons because I knew I wanted to do some kind of utensil type project. So we're just gonna add those to our crock. And you want the colors to stand out here. And then we're gonna take those towels that I got for my mom and just kind of put them in here. Okay. All right, that's looking really cute. And I'm gonna show you how it's displayed.
that's it for this week's Trash to Treasure projects. I hope you enjoyed them. If you like this episode and you want to see more episodes like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. I'm Kelly Sherry, and this has been Flea Market Rescue.